If you ever find yourself in an emergency situation, you just need to open one of these, but you don't have one of these, it's not a problem. There's multiple methods that you have at your disposal, I guarantee it, in your home right now that you can use to open a can without a can opener. I see all these videos out there, they're not wearing gloves. I would not wanna get a massive laceration because of a can in the middle of an emergency, a disaster, whatever the case. So just keep that in mind. If you like the video, you wanna see more of these types of how-tos and DIY videos, hit that like, let me know in the comments. Let's dive in. So my first option is with a spoon. Wear gloves. I'm gonna not wear gloves because for demonstration purposes, so you can see more of what I am doing. But I'm gonna take this spoon ultimately, and I'm gonna work a very focused area on the ridge of the can. So you're gonna see me just going back and forth until I puncture the top of the can here. And then I've got a couple options. I can make the hole bigger by working my way around the can slowly like a can opener would. I can peel the whole lid back, or I can get enough just to pry it open, which is probably gonna be a little bit safer. Let's pry that open slowly so that I can actually get to the contents, pour it out into a bowl, or even just make enough room for eating it with a spoon. So I'm gonna work on the focused area here, on the very ridge, right here, up against the ridge of that can. Heard a hiss, keep blowing those shavings out so you don't get it in your food. All right, and as you can see, we have punctured the can right here, making that hole bigger. Now I've got a lot of fluid here because probably not the best choice for this demonstration. I've got whole kernel corn here. So there's gonna be quite a bit of liquid. I'm gonna drain some of this in an emergency situation. I obviously would be consuming this, nothing goes to waste. Another reason to wear gloves is this could get really slippery. I've got a couple options. I'm gonna make the opening a little bigger by using the hole we just made and cranking the can open, just like you would a can opener. And when I get it open enough, I'm going to pry it open using the spoon, not my fingers. This is gonna be very sharp at this point. Working my way around that can. So you can see it's slow going. And in this case, I've got this much of an opening. Continue using this method until you work all the way around the can. Highly, highly recommended to wear gloves because the more you open this can up, the more the can lid is gonna to wanna to prop up and this is very sharp. So at this point, I'm just gonna take the spoon and you can open that lid enough to even get your spoon in there and start eating out of it or pour that into another bowl of some kind or onto your table. Another great method opening a can without a can opener is to use a knife. And this is just any old small kitchen knife. I'm gonna get my gloves. Be very careful with this. I'm going to poke holes essentially into and around the can. Same spot that we did with the spoon, only I'm gonna work my way around poking holes into that can. I'd go slowly because you only have two hands and you need to hold the knife with one and use a hammer or your other hand to hit the top of the knife. There's no rush. Take your time. And at this point, you can even just start and keep poking holes to reduce the amount of cutting that you have to do. But I would use a 
instead of a pulling motion where you're just kind of working your way really forcefully to try to cut through the can vertically, don't do that. Just take your knife and then really leverage that knife and pull that knife towards you in this rocking manner. Let the knife do the work. You can see the can's getting pretty loose now to the point where I can pull that up. Very jagged metal, do not get hurt by that. And that is the knife method. So this last option I'm gonna do outside. You could use a brick or inside if you wanted to. Um, concrete, like a curb or a patio, something that's going to allow you to rub down the aluminum on the can itself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this Campbell's, which happens to have the pull tab, which would be nice on all cans, but that's not the case, hence this video. I'm gonna take the can, I'm going to just back and forth until I start to break down the top of this can here, I will break the seal enough for me to pry it open. And I've already broken the seal. see the opening that I've made here. I could keep going, I could use something to pry that open. So you can see, very sharp, don't use your fingers. So I really need to break to get this lid off, there's a little bit more right here that I'm gonna work. And it's, it's gonna be, it could be messy, very messy. So obviously the knife method is gonna work the best. And see, so you can pry that lid open at that point and you've got your yummy Campbell soup. So as you can see, there are many methods that you can open a can without one of these, but this is still gonna be one of the easiest solutions. You've got your knife, you've got your spoon, you've got your concrete, your brick, whatever the case, a rock, if it's flat enough, you can open a can. Nice, that was actually not on purpose. I hope you liked the video, folks. Again, if you wanna see more, just let me know. Stay safe, stay practical. I'll see you soon.